Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we're back to Darkest Dungeon. So, we've brought half of an A-team up to the max level of 6. We now know that is the max level. And there's not really a lot of reason to continue to do runs with the max level character. Instead of just preparing them by removing diseases and negative traits for a Darkest Dungeon run. I question actually if the uh, if after your du a darkest dungeon run, even if you succeed, if not, if it isn't going to be a case that the characters are going to die or retire anyways, they won't be able to use them. So then it would be our B team, which potentially could be a bit of a backslide as we have to level up our B teams and C teams to to do the second and third run. Supply cost and provision cost is going to be 100% free. So what we want to do is we want to find something that is long. Um, so we can just have a ridiculous amount of resources available to us. Um, and I guess we're playing with the B team here. With So... Let's start by adjusting each of these characters to where we want them to be. Put him here. And then it's just going to be a matter of who else do we want. This attacker or maybe a healer hmm. our healer is way too low though our vestal character is uh, the let's see I guess we probably would take this guy wouldn't we hmm. Yeah, that's, I think, the team, but maybe not quite the team. So we've got level 3, level 4, who can attack from that position, level 4, and then level 4. move these around everybody has something decent although arguably maybe I could give something better than just a 10% stun chance for the abomination but whatever okay what were we gonna do now a level 3 veteran would be doable at medium size or a level one apprentice would be doable a medium size also and I guess it would just come down to what is giving the most amount of money it's it's kind of the exact same same amount of money anyways A medium veteran where we kill the alluring siren. Hmm. I think that's what we want to go for. Fingers crossed this would work. Because if it didn't work, then I just have to bring the level six characters out on this anyways. Okay. So food cost absolutely nothing if you look in the lower left hand corner so take all of that torches cost absolutely nothing so we can take all of these and shovels cost nothing interesting 
keys cost nothing. Well, it's pretty obvious what you should do here, then. Hmm. Let's... not have... It's funny that it stacks differently here than it stacks there. Let's not have a ridiculous overuse of this though. Like the odds that you would need nine keys is pretty low. And that would be about the biggest stack there. These probably wouldn't refill. These probably would still cost gems. The most expensive thing would be the shovel. Which the shovel would probably play out more than three keys. But no, it wouldn't, would it? Hmm. I guess the only idea here would be get rid of the dog treats as a buff since they don't sell for anything. But almost certainly I'm going to get rid of all of this. In financial hmm. desperation, I struck a bargain with the ancient things hmm. that surfaced in search of sacrifice when the moon was right. Their price was the delivery of an obscure idol, and one other hmm. item of more troubling portent. The pact hmm. struck. My newfound accomplices slipped silently beneath the brackish water. A fearful stirring at the edge of the torchlight betrayed a familiar witness and gifted me with malign inspiration. So the narrator really showing that he's pretty evil and probably I sacrificed. I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little whiff. He sacrificed the lady. Okay, our goal is to just find the boss fight. So that's not going to be too hard. Right, and so when we hit a sack, a handsome you just get that. For a task well performed. Let's now immediately say, decide what is worth a thousand gold. Hmm. Well, I guess what you do is you do this. And that makes good use of those items. Hmm. And I guess the hope here is that we will run into something we can use items with, or curios in general, fairly quickly. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Mm -mm. Right. So, I'll just trade that out for the thousand gold because the thousand gold's not that big of a deal and do we want to do anything with this ancient sculpture of dizzling implications what does holy water do to it nothing key does nothing torch does nothing hmm. bandage does nothing Anti-venom does nothing. Medicine does nothing. Shovel. Hmm. Fear and frailty finally claim their due. 
So breaking that raised a massive amount of stress in our character, which that might be the end of this run anyways. Like there, there may be no way to get around that. Mind that such missteps are the exception and not the rule. And this whole place is kind of surprisingly just empty. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Hmm. Hmm. And yeah, if we're not going to get into an actual fight, then. There's not really a lot to say. This character, maybe by the new scale, now that we're into the second act, a level 4 may not be that big of a deal. If he was to die. The ground quakes. Although, it doesn't seem... Like, there's a real guarantee that that's the way it's going to play out. Right, so this guy is in the wrong position. This guy. Still, it still seems crazy that Laudanum doesn't work the way you would think, which would be to reduce the effect of the stress in some way. This little attack there is not doing much damage. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Okay, attack these two and kill. I was hoping offensive. to kill both of them, but I only killed one of them. That's still alright. I could use a lot of food since of all these supplies. Inherently, though, I think this also kind of shows how. Well, supplies can be expensive and they can use up your finances. Getting the supplies for free is not going to create a scenario where you will greatly benefit from it either. You're just going to be at a certain maximum, as it were, for what you can do. Uh, and until, unless we find something that upgrades our inventory, which maybe that's what you get when you beat the Darkest Dungeon, but I wouldn't be surprised if you actually don't get anything for defeating the Darkest Dungeon. As the fiend falls, it would be nice if items stacked more. Blossoms. It would be nice, certainly, if the if you got more inventory slots. But this game has not been that generous in any other aspect, so there's really no reason to believe it would be that generous here. Right. Some of these characters could self heal hmm. but it's probably better just to make sure this guy dies hmm. and his stress aspects are now applying and making everybody else mentally Continue stressed the destroy them all All right so 
take all the food out of one pile. Hmm. You stack that. You take that. You can't take anything else. Hmm. Obstacle room with a curio, but not the boss battle, so we should skip it. Alright. So, that didn't do anything. That does something. Hmm. I probably should have used that guy, though. Another mariner, another misfortune. And I guess the idea here is to hope that we might run into a boss outside of the outside of the last room. Although, odds well, seem pretty low that that would happen. So we may have to just flee. Why is this guy can't... cannot attack? Because I guess the guy's in stealth. You know, it probably would benefit me just to use the dog biscuits even in a fight like this. Just the, the next two fights that have four characters, I think I'll use the dog biscuits. Just to free up the inventory space. Precision and power. His stress is now down to 97, so theoretically he may not have that madness anymore. But it doesn't seem like that's the case. It, it just still says fearful. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Hmm. Bleed effects. Hopefully. Take some extra damage out of this guy. Now that this guy's out of stealth, I can attack with that. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Okay. In radiance, may we find victory. Thousand gold for black onyx. I guess is the question. Or do we sell keys? Hmm. I think we sell keys in that case. Because I guess technically keys don't really have as much use. Hmm. All right. Minus 25 dodge, 8 rounds. What in the world is causing that to happen? 15 stress, 1 round. While you're at it, do we even have some bandages? Yes. But just using the items as they're intended since we have so many of them. I suppose it is very possible that... That what's going to happen here is... 
As the light gains purchase, is it will be lifted, able to and purpose is made clear. Run through the rooms without taking as much damage. Yeah. Sell that. Take that for 250. Leave the rest. It's funny, they often act fearful as characters, but they don't have the fearful trait on them. So it becomes this kind of weird double whammy in which random events of them saying something that, that seems fearful is not but a small taste of what being afflicted with fearfulness would be. We were going to use this as a buff first. I'll try and take out the second character so we can get rid of two at Death the same time. For the slightest lapse in concentration. Hmm. We can heal ourselves, but we can't heal anybody else, so. We have to attack there. Now we can heal this one for pathetic one. And his negative comments are adding stress to everybody else. And his stress is just getting higher and higher. So we probably should sleep after this yeah and just try and remove yeah if we can get rid of as much stress as possible by camping Two. Hmm. Hmm. He, healed, he healed that guy. Hmm. I guess he can go ahead and just heal himself. Hmm. Stunned at the very precipice of oblivion. I'm constantly he trying to heal this guy. Bring him back to life instead of using the attack that would be best suited against these two back row characters. So let's bring them forward. Maybe then their attacks won't work. Dead. Take out this last one. Totally missed. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Okay. So what I want to do, at the risk of losing a thousand gold and six crests, uh, I'm almost certainly going to need to just get rid of this also. So start with the crest, those are the most valuable things. Losing a defender seal, 
is not as big a deal, and losing a thousand gold is not as big of a deal. But I'm hoping I can do this. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable, rats in a maze. <laughs> Okay. Minus 12, 20 stress on this character. This guy needs to self only reduce his stress by 20. Self only plus 20 stress. Plus four speed. We'll think about that later. Heal 15%, remove bleeding and blight. 15 stress. Prevent 19 nighttime ambushes. Alright, let's heal this guy. Yeah, unfortunately, I guess the only thing I could do here is 20% HP damage and then 50% chance of all your companions losing stress. Okay, that worked. And then we have nobody else. Nothing else we can do. So we'll probably be ambushed in the night. And we'll hope that that fight is not that big of a deal. Hmm. And we're hoping that the, the there just aren't that lit. many fights the is clear. going forward. Only the strength to follow it. Hmm. But decent chance that the boss battle is at the end of these rooms. Small possibility, I guess, that these rooms are not... not full of anything okay 750 versus 500 would make an argument to get rid of this instead I will leave the rest And I guess the hope here would be that maybe some fights start to really go our way and you see stress relief happen on this character. But I guess in part he would have to be the one causing the damage if he's going to get any stress relief. Which... If he's passing, he's not going to be the one causing the damage. And him being healed up doesn't seem to really reduce stress very often, if ever. Unforgiving. 375 here, and we'll just. I guess. I guess the question is. Holy water. Holy water. Holy water. Holy water. And so the last holy water. And we'll take this item. Even though it doesn't really have that much value. There doesn't seem to be any system that would improve items or feed items into other items to merge them together. It would be nice if there was something like that. Or that there was some kind of building in the estate that would upgrade that. 
Uh, there is a lot of room, I suppose, for the entire estate to just have a whole second tier of buildings. Uh, and we do know that there is a second tier of buildings of some sort, but they, they're all very expensive. And I just don't see how I'll be able to really benefit from the, those second tier of buildings. Unless we're just really nowhere close towards the end of this game. I should have moved the characters back in the right order. But whatever. Perhaps because he is out of the second spot, he'll run into less danger. Bubbling. And then that will cause him to be less stressed. This guy keeps shielding. But when you attack tried to attack him directly, you also block that, so it kind of feels like it doesn't matter which one you attack, you're going to have to deal with them both. Is there a reason to heal somebody at this point? Maybe, if, particularly if this guy's going to resist. So this guy has some kind of guard attack. And he is just using it with this character. Which is, might be a great example of why you can't just have a random assortment of characters as groups of enemies. Because there might be a synergy that the game developers didn't think about that would make it close to, to impossible to actually win. Go ahead and just heal this character. I have a lot of bandages, so I could certainly be using just a bandage now on that. And I guess we're just going to target the front guy over and over again. There's a lot of room here for failure still. Plenty of rooms, actual physical rooms on the map that could have more fights. They could be longer like this fight. Well struck. Even with critical hit there still didn't take him out hmm. Let me hit that one Let's start the bleeding again which while we're at it just use the last of the bandages masterfully executed Okay. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? <laughs> Nothing there with that item. 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 And no effect there either. Hmm. Yeah, he still can't do anything with him. Next room. We may be running out of torches fairly quickly here. 
We may even run out of shovels. But we are potentially learning a lot as far as being able to try every single item for free on every single item you would run into in the cove. That's not every single item in the game, unfortunately. Hmm. This one potentially dies through bleeding, but potentially doesn't. Our characters are really out of order at this point, but... Obliterated. They still seem to be capable of doing their thing. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing seems to be able to reduce this guy's stress or fearfulness. The stress is actually not going up, it's just the fearfulness. Affic affliction. I could heal. Or I could just win. As right. victories mount, so too will resistance. 750 versus 750. Hmm. Versus what I suspect is actually less than 750, so let's sell that and take that. Hmm. How much food do we have? We may not have any food at all. So hopefully we just don't run into a hunger check. Beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Bandages and gold. Gold would probably be better than holding on to 750 of any of these one specific items. Let's try this guy on this. Okay. Healing quality qualities remove the cork. That's nice. That probably wasn't enough though. Okay. Second to last fight. Potentially, we've got a big character here at the front. That is, if I recall correctly, a pretty heavy hitter. Hmm. Hmm. Of course, that's a pretty big heavy hitter, also. All the other people are gaining stress. I wonder, it almost feels like stress is a balancing element where it goes up based on the enemies and maybe even goes down based on enemies. It probably isn't based so much on enemies as it might be based on uh, the way a fight is going or the way the game thinks the fight is going, which it honestly does a pretty good job of generally estimating whether the fight is going well or not.
singular strike. This guy needs to be healed. Impressive. He could have actually healed himself. <laughs> This is probably our only opportunity to get our team ready for the final boss fight, so I should heal in some situations, but also killing him faster is also a priority because this guy is potentially going to do a massive amount of damage. This one. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. And so once again we have to think about well I guess this in favor of this. Or well, we've already sold it now, so it kind of doesn't matter. We could think about trying to use the medicine. Laudanum, anti-venom, both of those. Let's see. Let's see if we can do anything here. Will medicine do anything? Will anti-venom do anything? Will a shovel do anything? Will a torch do anything? Hmm. Key. So I think we've tried everything. Hmm. And almost certainly this is a bad idea to inter in interact with it, so I'm going to just say no. And just move forward. We don't have a shovel, we just used our last shovel. Darn it. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh. Hmm. An indefatigable purpose. Hmm. Hmm. The sparkling eyes of youth. Twisted and made merciless. Oh, this might just be our last chance so we may want to just do this fight and call it unless this guy gets snagged by the siren and is not part of the team but then I still would need to fight with the rest of the team to defeat the siren so really it would have to be more of a case of the siren just being really really easy a devastating blow just getting a lot of crits. Hmm. Hmm. Guess we'll just attack the front front guy. This is a collected highwayman, highwayman, and vestal. So it's different heads. So is the collector collecting heads and am I getting uh, head items from the collector? Hmm. That is a possibility. I, I would explain where we're getting the heads and the bags from. So may, it may very well be a case that the collector only shows up when you have characters who are dead in your graveyard. So there might be a secondary reason potentially to try to empty your graveyard or not allow it to fill in the first place.
This guy's health is low. How much does this guy have? Despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. This guy's about to die himself. His blood damage is just not doing enough damage. Stress is too high, their health is too low. I think we flee. I think we can win this fight, however, but terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. We need to be very careful. Take him out. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. This door again. Grievous injury to this door. Fear. Potentially three or four people at this door. Oh, please die quickly. HP. Patched up. If only to bleed again. <laughs> How quickly the tide turns. Preservation is paramount at any cost. The odds of one of these guys not dying seems approaching zero. Everybody's stress is ridiculously high. Everybody needs to heal. There goes one guy. Should I retreat from combat? Three characters at death door now. 
So his stress is getting higher and higher, so he will die of a heart attack pretty soon. We need 24 damage done to this guy, which basically means we need a critical done to this guy. I may not even be able to damage this guy. Let, let's another life wasted in the pursuit of glory and gold. Hmm. Hmm. We're just gonna have a whole team. We should just retreat, like cause. I can do self absolution here and heal. For now. But unless this kill them. Retreat. We retreat, save two lives. Position in this we should have retreated a while time. ago. The sin is not in being outmatched, but in failing to recognize it. Hmm. You cannot learn a thing you think you know. So that was just awful. That pretty much wiped out our B team. And yeah, it definitely feels like, well, there can be a snowball effect to make where things get easier and better. There can also be some backsliding and it can get really difficult. So we lost the level three, we lost the level four, and we lost the level four. And unless we get really lucky and can bring back several people from the graveyard, we're in big trouble. You feel it. The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. And it may be a case that you don't get a reward unless you... Or a, a weekly event unless you have something you you have success right we are trying to let's see it will take a musketeer just because a level a 2 mox woman and a for a new kind jester, of challenge which Dismiss this jester. Suffer not the lame horse, nor the broken man. And put in the items that were in his inventory. <clears throat> and then this musketeer at two. Probably doesn't replace this musketeer at six by any means but that may be helpful later on we've got a ton of gold and so it's just a matter of we need instructor mastery level three to upgrade that instructor mastery level three would require more portraits we don't have portraits We would need more busts. So we're gonna try and treat diseases. 
Hmm. I think we take our A team and we try and get this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy to go. But on second thought, I don't think that's going to work because there's just too many other problems. This is the spot. 20% strats versus the unholy. Satan phobia. Yeah, get rid of that, certainly. Get rid of that. We could upgrade, reduce the cost of treatment. Let's see, looking, sorting by stress, the character we just tried to treat was the one we just tried to treat, so, yeah. I think it probably is the time The front line to... of this war is not in the dungeon, hmm. but rather inside the mind. Upgrade this and... So you can't do anything there, can't do anything there. So we just have like one level two disease. And that's all the characters that have diseases that apparently can be treated. Um, so we just need to start getting rid of quarks. Yeah, as this now boils down, this character would have been a level 3. Whereas this is a level 5, so get that first. Then get the level fours I guess at some point we lost our lever hmm. Hmm. is there an upgrade otherwise feels like there should be something that could be upgraded So we just have a lot of money and not a lot to really do with it. Hmm. And we would have to start to think about just upgrading the number of Iron, items. Amulet or lucky charm. Hmm. The simplest object can be a talisman against evil. Hmm. So where's our Crusader character? Here, we have a level 1 Crusader that we could give that to. And then we kind of have nothing else that we need to do with that. Alright. So we're back, I guess, in this weird situation where... If we tried to take the five, the six, a five and a six with us, and then a level two character, like in the far back here, as far as a musketeer, that doesn't. I don't think that's going to work for you well. So really what we need to do is find something really simplistic, just a short apprentice level one, and then we need to decide who we are going to choose to play with and try and level up. Try some of these different characters potentially to see if they can do something a little bit better or get different abilities hmm. Hmm. 
Let's see. Bounty Hunter up front might be good. Lunge from the back to I don't think is actually a great character. Yeah, so you just pick a group of people, see if they've got items equipped. Musketeer here, notably does not have any items equipped. So, extra protection. Hmm. Don't move. We could try that. Or blight and bleed resist, which is also a thought. Hmm. We will have to pay for resources this next time. And I don't know if getting all those resources really helped that much. So if we were to do a medium, we'd almost certainly die, which probably means we only can do a short, or only should do a short. A medium of gathering three holy relics. We kind of know what that is. Hmm. But yeah, let's stick with this one. Okay. A stack here of that. All of those. That. I at this point I, I just think Laudium must be some extra New Game Plus item. It, it just doesn't seem to work at all. I'm taking extra food's not a terrible thought. I'm just taking one of those. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's a good run. Although maybe the Warrens use more keys than anything else, so maybe you don't need anti venom. They or, bleed quickly down there in the uh, dark. I don't even know if I got anti venom. Slay them even faster. Hundred percent of room battles. Yeah, we have one anti venom. We are just We have to do the room battles, so we know exactly what to do. 100% disarm, 110%, 90%, 70%. Okay. Holy water on bones. Works well. And then, might as well just read it. Seems like reading is your better bet than putting holy water on it or burning it. Even if it does just lead to um, you getting a negative trait. We don't have holy water this time. So now we have bloodthirsty trait. Which is probably not that big of a deal. It's gonna be in the fight here. Certainly though that we start to feel a potential difference. 
because this could this could go very easily or this could go very badly if it goes very easily and these are all just level 2 characters that have never even been in a fight before then that does show that upgrading the estate was the right move and as the fiend falls a faint hope we are blossoms. now in a very good position even if we do lose an entire team of sixes, it's not as big of a deal to go from level twos or level threes back to level six. And it, it seems like by default, once everything is upgraded, we will be offered potentially level fours, which means you'd have to grind still a little bit to get from a four to a six, but Confidence nowhere near as much. As the enemy crumbles. Okay. Massive amount of food. Next room. This is going to actually be a very short experience. In fact, it may just be a little too short of an experience. But maybe not. The blood quickens. As long as you can can grind on the shorter runs, you probably should grind on the gone, shorter fiend. runs. Getting a one-hit kill and not even letting the enemy attack is the that like that fight own. adds such a high level of safety to to your gameplay that you should focus for that, even if it may be boring. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't see that trap. Hazards, possessed by evil intent. Hmm. Room battle with the treasure, we now know it goes there. There's nothing in here. I guess at a certain point, if this guy has all of his stats up to the max now, and this guy doesn't have all, a bunch of stats, and this guy doesn't have a bunch of stats, and this guy doesn't have a bunch of stats, then we should stop using him to In Radiance, may we things. find victory. Such blockages are unsurprising. <laughs> These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. This is such a short dungeon, however, that it does just feel like we are going to end up selling half of our resources. Hmm. Hmm. And he resisted disease there, so that was good. Hmm. This character is an interesting character because he's a middle attacker. Whereas all the other characters Another are either first two row attackers or last two row attackers, which I think makes the Jester probably stand out as a character you definitely want in your fight, assuming he can do enough damage. It though may just become a case that Crusaders have more damage and more defense and a team of potentially four crusaders might work better than three crusaders and a jester with all other things being equal their formation is broken maintain the offensive hmm. 
seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. More loot. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. We still need upgrade material A like crazy. Strike. And I'm still trying to figure out if upgrding the a single building to 100% will do no something quarter. special. It's possible that it that every little upgrade to every building is doing something special and it's just not telling you it's doing something special. Things do feel like they're getting easier, but not in magical, unexpected ways. They're, they're just getting easier because things are getting cheaper and you have more gold and you have higher level characters. They're starting off with higher level upgrade stats. Annihilated. When you do a run and you can be incredibly over prepared with items and then you figured out that certain items synergize to better rewards I suppose most players would not have reached this point without figuring out some of this Let's see. Key. Take all. Let's go ahead and use this. And take that. And there's nowhere else to go and no nothing else to do unless we just want to walk to this curio and see what that is, which I guess we can. We've got the we've got the time. Buffering characters doesn't actually help you. Um, outside of a fight. Some experiments should have never happened. Pretty obviously. You are doing just work ending them. If we got some kind of upgrade where we could sell items back for the same amount we purchased them, or even for more gold than we are selling items back, that would be great. But yeah, overall, this is just a run to give resolve to these characters. And honestly, they probably could have done fine in a medium run. Trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance. We still in have a means. lot of enemies. We've gotten a couple of these characters to level six. Abomination and Musketeer. But oddly, Musketeer is not even listed under the roster goals. It's very possible that you would not get a couple of those characters upgraded to level 6. Okay. Man at Arms level 5, level 6. And then Abomination level 2, Grave Robber level 2. Let's see what our grave robber is at. I think it's probably higher. Yeah. So. Yeah. We want to take this guy and this guy. And then we're going to have to pick a couple other characters. We're going to have to do like a medium run. Still trying to get Instructor Mastery leveled up. 
would be 24 and 60 crests, which we can't do. Can't upgrade anything here. I don't think any of these characters are really that big of a deal. Let's see. Can we upgrade anything on this? No. Get rid of the table worm on that char character. Hmm. One of these guys that we did have did get something nice. But it's probably just not worth locking in either. Okay. So, nothing to upgrade here, and it's pretty much just if you have 15 crest, that is just not enough to upgrade anything going forward. And there very possibly will be a situation where the bar or becomes free again because of Mardi Gras. I just don't think that there's really even a value in upgrading these. Hmm. We do now have more stuff. We haven't done anything with the flagellist. Punishment hood versus the heartburst hood. Plus 25% protection. We could buy these items. Hmm. Like plus 25% protection sounds like a pretty good item to buy. And at the very least that means we've bought one thing from the storefront. Hmm. And the sickening satchel here of 20% damage versus blighted for the grave robber. Hmm. We already have that. Okay. So there's not a reason to buy another one of those. Hmm. Yeah, I think overall I would consider buying things from the storefront if it's a hundred percent positive and I would start to consider potentially selling things that are trade-off things because that that's the way this seems like this is gonna boil down to let's see our bounty hunter character Stun skill chance versus this. One speed, four dodge versus stress healing. So that's not as good as this. And even though this is a common, this is really not that good either. Yeah, I'm thinking these heads are coming from the collector. Alright. But I guess otherwise there really is nothing here to do. So, I want to take someone along with us. If we take a 6 and we take a 6 and a 5 and we go for a veteran killer luring siren again can we do the, that fight hmm. Hmm. 
and who do we take along with us in that situation because whoever we do take with us in that situation is probably doomed to die they they would have to be somebody that could be in the back like here and twenty five percent protection tin dodge healing skills hmm. is I gonna use this guy as a healer not so much anyways So this is a risky run. We could do the room battles instead and that's probably a better plan. And we could do a short room battles versus a medium room battles on veteran. And that's probably even a better plan. So let's try that out. And perhaps we are hitting a point now where the bank concept of of building the bank might actually be useful. And do I just want a second copy of each of these items no I think this is the right move that leaves you very nicely I could have also just ended the episode here but they breed quickly down there in the dark this is a good experiment slay them even because this tells us we can still play with the level 6 characters and use them as helper characters um, which there would have been a worry, certainly, that that wouldn't have been the case. Hmm. A lot of these characters have negative things, so the, like, nervousness here, or witness here, if I click on this, and try holy water on this. Nothing happens. Hmm. Nothing happened. Oh, shame. I was hoping something would have happened. Interesting, we have yet another new character. Which potentially does hint at that a case that this game has a lot more meat to its bones than you would think you just have to be 30 plus hours into the gameplay before you start to see it um, which I've said it so many times now but it, it's, it's so obvious this game was in a very long public development cycle whether, you, whether it was called early access or not um, we would have seen a hint of this character before this point. They, they would have shown up as a surprise like sub boss or something. Really could. Or there, there would have been whispers at least that such a character might exist. But just to have a character like this show up out of nowhere really just admits that it's not even an important character so after this fight we may very possibly never see them again 
Do we have something else that we could do? We could heal people, but it's not really worth it. And honestly, his buffing of doing one damage and causing blight Unforeseen. It's not going to be that useful. My only hope is that maybe the level 6 characters don't take any of the resolve and then the resolve gets equally split between the remaining characters. So this level 2 may jump up to like a level 4 in one even short run. That would be nice. I doubt that's really how it's going to go though. I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if all these characters get 2 or 4 resolve and that is that. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Hmm. Curious is the trap maker's art. Hmm. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Well, this is a problem. We may find this guy killed in the first round or we may find that he has just Death moved waits for the slightest lapse in concentration like his resolve is so low that uh, his stress probably will skyrocket which will probably kill him and just prove that there is no smart way to bring a low level character even on a medium run, the, the characters need to be within one level of each other. Hmm. Like he's up to 51 stress already. That is crazy. Hmm. Right, well, kill that. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Kill that. Hmm. Everybody still can attack from their position, so we'll just wait until the next until the fight ends to move everybody back. Hopefully. This guy survives that long. All kinds of diseases are getting picked up by this character. Which maybe there's an argument to using the medicine inside of a dungeon to cure diseases instead of... But... I think this really cures only blights. I don't think it inherently will cure a disease that's a permanent effect. Blight is more of a temporary effect. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Hmm. This guy's resolve is just not high enough to lose any stress. This character must just be really susceptible to disease. Come on, come on. Destroy them all. It might be a case that this character increases your odds of getting items two curios or we walk backwards and just skip it I think we just walk backwards and skip it sadly it does seem like we're gonna end up in another fight so walking backwards which I guess there probably would have been no way to avoid that anyways. 
I don't know why these guys like to attack the back characters. Maybe I should move the characters around a little bit more. Put the musketeer in back, put him in third position. That, that's probably a smart move. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Let's go ahead and try to get the blight on that character because I imagine he would suffer way more from the blight than the skeleton would. Their formation Kill is broken. That one. Maintain the offensive. Doesn't really feel like the blight's affecting him that much, however. It's a lot of background noise and sound effects. Let's see if we can heal ourselves a little bit while we're at it. And yeah, why not heal ourselves? more. A trifling victory, hmm. but a victory nonetheless. So move to that position. Shall I give this guy a bandage? Yeah. Let's do that. Hmm. Hmm. I guess the question is who is the best trap person? 80, 90, 50, 90. Hmm. I guess it is in part if you stand near um, near something you will pop up your odds of success so the game is trying not to be surprising now here we have a new surprising character all right well Hope the blight kills that one. And this large corpse e eater is probably just an evolved version of the corpse eater, which I would assume means it's not as big of a deal as it might seem. It may just have a lot of health. Hmm. Hmm. No, it seems like it's a heavy hitter. Definitely doesn't seem like something to be trifled with. Let's, let's see if maybe the blight affects it differently. Seriously, keep missing. A death by inches. Hmm. This could be the last room battle. So we could succeed just by defeating this guy, or there could be one more, or two more, or three more, or four more. Grievous injury. 45 Out damage the there. That is a lot. Let's see. This guy cannot heal other people, so all he can do is attack and try and stun. This guy can heal. To at least get him away from death's door. Hmm. 
This one could also heal. Which is maybe the better move. But maybe not. Maybe it is just smarter to do the remaining six attack. I guess this one could have healed himself too. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Hmm. Hmm. And I guess. We could eat food. We don't really have a reason to eat food. If only treasure could staunch the flow hmm. of otherworldly corruption. I wonder if this guy's ability to read books would mean anything. Hard noggin. Hmm. Okay, next room. Again, the hope I guess is that is that this next room would be the last room. Hmm. Spare's accuracy is bad. A lot of these characters' accuracies seem oddly low. Is there something that's causing this character to be so bad? Hmm. Hmm. Something is reducing the accuracy and it's the disease. Hmm. Let's see if we can kill the skeleton in one turn. Seems like we can. Well, it's probably going to take two turns to kill the other one. Yeah, going forward, I'm just going to use the Musketeer to heal this character up. Use the man at arms and the abomination and everybody else to kill the guy, even though the antiquarian is really only adding a blight effect and just really living on that blight effect. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Right. So we've used up all of our food sources. That didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. So yeah. I'd hoped for a better outcome from that, but no such luck. Okay. So we have a big time character that we 
Which I want to kill first, but we probably should kill the other characters first instead. Because he's just going to have too much health. Hmm. And I guess the question is, was it better to potentially try and heal for four, or... Or just try and do damage. It's not so much keeping their health up or to a certain level because of the way the death blow system works as it is so much about just keeping the health above exactly zero. Maybe that would kill that guy, but I don't think so. Probably at this point, healing makes sense for the Musketeer. But we definitely want to try to stun this character as much as possible. That is a lot of damage. Facing the abyss. Totally dodge that. Keep the stuns coming. Yeah, he won't give blight, so he should be healing. Where this one actually can do a decent amount of damage if it actually makes contact. So, heal that up. Fail again, I guess. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. All right, this is great. Click on this. And do we have any medicine or anything? All right. This just worked out perfectly. And there, I suppose it is a thing here where we could go curio, curio, and walk to that room because it doesn't seem like there's going to be an extra fight in any of that. Take a couple more heirlooms. Did we really need to use the torch there? No. Cool machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. Hmm. 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 It does seem like he would be the smartest person to read this. Hmm. There's, there is a little symbol here that does seem like there might be an indication that that would burn the item. Hmm. Some experiments hmm. should have never happened. You are doing just work ending them. problem now though is just how many more of these runs are you really gonna have to do and at what point should I turn on that other DLC that I I I was warned away from turning on I 
so that gave four resolve to this character and now we have cave tactician or precise striker or Warren's adventure hmm. Trouble yourself not with the cost of this hmm. crusade. Its noble end affords you broad weeks. tolerance in your choice of means. Probably means we've been playing for about 25 episodes at this point. Again, can we upgrade something now? Maybe? Not really. It'd still just be too much of a trade-off. Hmm. This character probably does have enough enough stress to be useful against that. And then Cove Tactician. Does this guy have a melee attack? Hmm. Melee ranged. So that's pretty much all he does is a melee attack. So Slugger makes some sense. And then that doesn't make some sense, but you take those two and try and get rid of that. And then these other two. Diseases probably aren't worth removing so much. Although the price is not that expensive. And it certainly makes a lot more sense to just get rid of diseases instead of having them sit around doing nothing. I could upgrade any of this. It's been a long time since we've had to actually put anybody in a brothel. Um, there was a slight imbalance. It felt fairly obvious that there was a slight imbalance there. Level 2 Highwayman with everything upgraded doesn't really make a lot of sense. Hmm. Can we upgrade anything more? Hmm. Do we have any new items to really sell? Doesn't seem like it. So the real question is just could we get this up? No, really we can't. We still would need 30 more crests on top of 8 more portraits. So my assumption is that it's just going to be a long journey. Uh, we're going to have to embark again and again with a level 2 team. And maybe we can bring the level 4 character to be the assistant character. But everything else doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, we could play with these characters this a team to try and see if we could replace their abilities to lock in better abilities which is I suppose the last element to this would be to say hey we don't like any of these abilities let's get rid of them we definitely don't like any of these abilities let's get rid of them and let's just spend massive amounts of gold which really has no other use 
otherwise. Um, to lock in positive abilities quarks and lock out negative abilities and quarks some of these like eldritch hater probably don't even work in the darkest of dungeons because I wouldn't be surprised if the darkest dungeon has just a random assortment of all the characters available throughout all the DLC and maybe if you turned off all the DLC and played it the way the game would have originally been played, there might have been a slightly different experience to that. Hmm. There was this really long glossary um, here where some of this potentially could have been explained further the butcher circus is obviously a major piece of DLC because there's a lot of extra elements here so much so that I would argue that really the butcher circus should be a spin-off game that maybe was even like free-to-play mobile version uh, since it's completely unconnected to the experience of the rest of the game anyways uh, it being a free-to-play mobile game would make a lot of sense or just being a spin-off multiplayer uh, aspect would make a lot of sense we still have yet to find any of these resources so I have no idea where that comes from and yeah building a bank to get five percent of your saved gold back versus building the cartographer's camp or the granary it's fairly obvious you should do these two first all right well that's another episode and i'm just getting more and more anxious about how many more episodes there really can be of this game before this before I just lose interest um, I effectively have to start all over again or at least start at level two with a new team now after getting an entire team over up to level six or at least three out of four characters up to level six um, which maybe means I should just at some point pull the trigger and do the first assault on the darkest dungeon and see if maybe it's way easier than I think it's gonna be but I just don't think it will be um, I think it first things first would be to defeat all the boss creatures in the other regions first and see what happens then anyways that's gonna be it for this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. And if you want to support me further, there's a link to Patreon. Or you can friend me on Steam and gift me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.